What's up, you freaking geniuses? So in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to find lengths using the mid-segments of a triangle, all right? So first of all, let's just make sure we understand what a mid-segment is. So a mid-segment is just a line or segment that connects the midpoints of two sides of a triangle, all right? So if I tell you that this point right here where T is, this point up here, U, and this point right here, B, are midpoints, well, then you can see we can draw some lines that connect those points. And a couple of cool relationships end up happening. So the first one is that we create parallel lines, right? So if I draw a line from this midpoint from T to B, so this one right here, this line, this perfectly horizontal line, ends up being parallel to this big line, this big segment of the triangle up here. Now, the same thing happens with the other parts of the mid-segments. So this mid-segment right here, is parallel to the big triangle, the big segment of the triangle out here. And this last one from U to B, this mid-segment, is parallel to this last side of this triangle over here that goes from Q to S. Okay, the other relationship that we form is that the mid-segments are half the length of the line that they're parallel to, okay? So for instance, this line right here, TB, it's 30, right? So then this line up here, QR, must be twice the length of this mid-segment. So if this mid-segment TB is 30, the length of this whole side over here, QR, would be equal to 60. And that actually brings us to our first question over here. It just says, find the lengths of TU, UB, and QR. So we just found QR, it's equal to 60. Now let's find TU. So this is TU right here. What's the length of this mid-segment right here? Well, you always want to look at the line that it's parallel to, which is this line out here, right? This line out here is equal to 40. So that means this line, the mid-segment, would be half of the big one, right? So this is equal to 20, right? So TU is equal to 20. Now what about UB? So UB would just be this last mid-segment right here. So again, just look at the parallel line. So the parallel line is this big guy out here, which is equal to 50. So this mid-segment, again, is half of the big one. So it'd be equal to 25, right? So UB is equal to 25. All right, now let's go over these last few examples. So for these two right here, we're just gonna have to solve for X. And then for this last one, it's gonna be just a little bit different, right? So first of all, uh, as we can see, there's a line right here. Now, is this a mid-segment? So you can't necessarily just assume any line you see like that is a mid-segment, okay? The problem either has to tell you that this is a mid-segment, or you're gonna see the little congruent hash marks, right? So you'd see something like this side is congruent to this side because this is the midpoint. And if we said this is also a midpoint, well then that would mean this side is congruent to this side, okay? So again, either the problem is gonna tell you that the, these are mid-segments, or you're gonna see the congruent hash marks, right? So that's just a little advice because I know some of your teachers out there like to trick you. All right, so how would we solve for X here? So it says that the mid segment is 5X and the long side that it's parallel to is 45. Well, it gives us the long side, right? We know this is 45. So we know that this mid segment that it's parallel to should be half of 45. And half of 45 is equal to 22.5. So that means this mid-segment is equal to 22.5. So we can just use this little equation to solve for x, right? So we can say that 5x is equal to 22.5. We can divide both sides by 5. So then here we get that x is equal to 4.5. Right? There's our answer here. Now let's go to the next one over here. So again, we have our congruent marks. So we know this is a mid-segment and here it's equal to eight, and then the long side is equal to five X minus four. All right, so what do we know? Well, we know the mid segment, right? It gives it to us, it's equal to eight. So if this is equal to eight, that means the long side should be equal to 16. Okay, so again, we have the equation to solve for X now. It's just gonna be five X minus four is equal to 16. So here we can get rid of the four by adding four to both sides, so we get five X, is equal to 20, and then we can just divide both sides by five. So then here we get that X is equal to four, all right? So there's our answer here. All right, now let's go to this last one. So it says that segment BE is equal to two X plus six, 
And segment BE is this mid-segment right here. And DF is equal to 5x plus 9. And DF is the line that's parallel to the big line out here. All right, so this is 5x plus 9. And lastly, it just says find DF. Okay, so it doesn't give us an exact number or length for either of these two, right? It just gives us equations. But how can we relate BE to DF? Right? How can we relate BE to DF? Well, we know that DF is twice as long as BE, right? So we could say something like BE plus BE is equal to DF. Or another way we could say that is by just saying two times BE is equal to DF. Okay, so if we know two BEs is equal to one DF, here we could just set this up as 2 times BE, which is 2x plus 6. So 2x plus 6, and that's equal to DF, which is 5x plus 9. So here we can just distribute, right? So 2 times 2x, that's equal to 4x, and 2 times 6 is equal to 12. That's equal to this side, 5x plus 9. Now here we can move all the x's to the right. So we can subtract 4x, subtract 4x. And here we can move the numbers to the other side, to the left. So here we can subtract 9 and subtract 9. So all we're left with is 12 minus 9, which is equal to 3. And that's equal to 5x minus 4x, which is equal to 1x, or simply just x. Right? So x is equal to 3. So now that we know what x is equal to, now we can find df. Right? So we can just plug in a 3 for x right here. And I'll just write it up here. So we're going to have 5x plus 9, so 5 times 3 plus 9. 5 times 3 is equal to 15, so we get 15 plus 9, and that's equal to 24. All right, so segment DF is equal to 24. Kobe! So if you found the video helpful, definitely leave a thumbs up down below. And if you have any other questions or want to see any other examples, just let me know in the comment section below.